The Little Stranger, it's not easily defined by one genre. There is an energy about the film which is constantly changing. It brings you in and holds you. It's a period drama, psychological thriller. It's got a romance element to it. You, Miss Ayres, look beautiful. It's funny at times as well. is not touch a drop yet, Chip. I was just very excited by that potent mixture of the psychological, the atmospheric, the genre. Hundreds is a kind of dwindling family estate. The story takes place in the late 40s. The major social shifts that follow the Second World War are underway. The aristocracy has been worn away. Difficult times for estates like hundreds. So the house is little by little starting to fall apart. I'm afraid I've been pinning the house back together. The house itself is sick, and the people who live there have also gone into decline. The story is all through the eyes of a guy called Dr. Faraday. Faraday is a doctor who has returned to his hometown, where he grew up reasonably poor in the scheme of things. I was thinking of my mother. She was a maid here before I was born. He's had a chance to go to university, qualified as a doctor, and so he finds himself in this sort of no-man's land, marooned between the two classes. He's trying to heal the house, he's trying to heal the family, and we follow him into it as things get darker and stranger. Why don't you tell me what's going on? You wouldn't believe me. For most of the film, you can think of an explanation which isn't supernatural. Those marks, they're not new. But the film takes several turns that are not expected. Things are becoming deeply disturbing. We don't come in here often. Not anymore. It has a growing sense of unease and dread. There's something in this house that hates us. It's like you feel you're being haunted by something. <laughs> A long time ago, there was a child here. The Little Stranger will keep the audience guessing. Yeah. It will keep shocking and surprising them. It's all very subtle. You think, is it really happening? She belongs here. You do not. There's this bubbling sense of things could go desperately wrong at any minute. I just feel things are out of control. What is this Little Stranger in the house that remains compelling at every turn? This business seems almost contagious. I don't know where it will end. The first time I saw Hundreds Hall was July 1919. Thirty years later, I could hardly comprehend the change in the place. This house works on people. I suddenly feel nervous. A long time ago, there was a child here. What are you doing? Susan died before I was born. I just feel things are out of control. There's generally women at the root of this stuff. What happened next is a mystery to me.